pin lay row, bent over row, inverted row. These are all different variations of a row exercise meant to develop strength and power. In this video, I'm going to break down how each of these variations are different from each other, how to do each one, and towards the end of the video, I'll let you know which of these might be more suitable for a lot of adults. I'm Dr. Elise Brown. I'm a scientist who studies how exercise helps to prevent and slow the progression of diabetes. Each of these exercises are used to train the back and the biceps. More specifically, the main muscles involved in the movement include the latissimus dorsi, posterior deltoid, subscapularis, infraspinatus, teres major and minor, biceps brachii, brachioradialis, and brachialis. It's a multi-joint horizontal shoulder arm and pull movement that occurs in the transverse and sagittal plane. It will only occur in the sagittal plane if your upper arms are locked into your side with a closer grip. The bent over row hangs from the arms without touching the ground at the end of each rep. Keep in mind that you can do this exercise with dumbbells, kettlebells, and resistance bands too. The pin lay row starts from the ground and ends on the ground every rep. Because there's a little bit of hip extension when the bar is pulled off the ground, heavier weights can likely be used compared to a bent over row. An inverted row can be performed at the gym using a barbell situated against a squat rack, but make sure that your back is facing the J-cups so the bar is more secure against the rack. It can also be done using dip bars or other bars that you may find at a fitness park. The starting position for the bent over row and pin lay row will include heels positioned directly under the hips or a little wider, bar over the middle of the foot, a slight bend in the knee, and torso positioned slightly above the ground with hips in a flex position. Keeping a slight bend in the knees so that they are almost straight reduces the contribution of the quadriceps during the exercise. Hands grab the bar a little wider than shoulder width using an overhand grip, but the width can vary. If you want more emphasis on the biceps, try the exercise with a reverse grip and a little more narrow. In the bent over row and pin lay row, the bar will start directly under the shoulder blades. It'll be pulled toward the trunk by bending the elbows and in touching the lower ribs below the chest. You'll notice that your lower back and abs are very engaged while maintaining this trunk position throughout the exercise. Please hit like and subscribe if you're finding this useful. At the start of both types of rows, shoulders are pulled down and back locking the lats, arms, posterior deltoids, and muscles attached to the shoulder blades in place. It's critical that the back is locked into position using abdominal bracing, and the chest stays up throughout the entire movement. If the torso rises too much above parallel to the ground, the bar will finish lower than the bottom of the ribs and limit the range of motion. For the inverted row, there are different ways to set up, but one way is to position the bar at a height that will allow your body, from head to knee, to be close to parallel to the ground when you pull yourself up and your knees finishing at 90 degrees. Place yourself under the bar with an overhand grip, hang from the bar with arms straight, and then pull your body towards the bar as high as you can go. More spinal compression in the lower back is to be expected with a bent over row when compared to the inverted row or the one arm cable row. But you can expect a similar amount of front to back or anterior posterior shear force across each of these lifts. Compression is a force that's applied inward that compresses an object or compacts an object. Shear force is when forces on different parts of the body are being applied in opposite directions parallel to one another. Shear force. The inverted row isn't going to load the lower back like the other row variations that I've discussed today, and it may be more appropriate for someone who has a history of lower back injuries. Since lower back injury is the number one cause of disability across the globe, and because it's highly prevalent in adults, an inverted row might be a good place to start off with. If you'd like your own Diabetes Resistance t-shirt, or you'd like to find out other ways that you can support the channel, please check out the merchandise link down in the description below. Thank you for watching.